Illegal waste dumping into water systems is prompting emergency regulations across South Carolina. News 13's Evan Donovan joins us now from our Greenville News Center. And Evan, the state believes that the dumping is intentional and it's not just happening in the upstate. That's right. Richland County, which is where the state capital of Columbia is located, is the latest to find PCBs in one of its wastewater treatment facilities. Scary news about a banned substance that can cause cancer. These tanks hold a biosolid sludge. It's a great soil supplement. That would normally be great for fertilizer. And a nutrient that farmers use for growing hay. But now contains harmful levels of a chemical called PCBs, or polychlorinated biphenyls, that cause cancer. Years ago, they were used as coolants in electrical equipment. They were banned about 1979 and haven't been used since, as far as we know. Earlier this year, three wastewater treatment facilities in the upstate found PCBs during routine testing in amounts exceeding the safe limit for selling to farmers. Because it contains over 50 parts per million. Uh, of PCBs. Yesterday, South Carolina's Department of Health and Environmental Control issued an emergency regulation outlawing any land application of sludge containing detectable levels of PCBs. Health officials don't know where the dumping is coming from, but they believe it's being done in restaurant grease traps. As for who is doing the dumping... Uh, and we're still trying to get to the bottom of who could have been involved with that. DHEC says there's no danger to the drinking water because PCBs are being caught at wastewater facilities. That's been treated with UV, all the particles taken out. That's good quality, clean water. Now, DHEC is working with the Environmental Protection Agency to help find the criminals doing the dumping. In the meantime, they're asking everyone to report any suspicious activity that you see around those restaurant grease traps or manholes or sewers. Reporting live from the Greenville News Center, I'm Evan Donovan, News 13.